Welcome back to AIM On Air. We have two great guests with us today, starting with Neil Walker, head of product at TCG Process, and Jennifer Brady, sales and marketing manager at TCG Process. And we are here today talking about how to connect people with business process with DocSnap from TCG Process. Now, Neil, I'd like to start with you if I could. You folks have had a really exciting product launch recently with DocSnap. Can you tell us a bit more about that and what were the main drivers behind it? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, as you say, we, we, we just launched our new mobile app, um, which is, as you say, called DocSnap. And it's really uh, a way that we can expand on, on the current strengths of, of TCG. So obviously for quite some time, we've been really strong in the space of uh, IDP and, and, and the capture world. And we wanted to see how we can really reach out and connect those remote workers with enterprise processes directly. And, that, and that's really what, what DocSnap is all about. And we see that, you know, the modern workplace has really evolved. It's, it's changing, it's become fluid, it's become dynamic. People are working from coffee shops, they're working on the move, right. they're working in their local offices, they're working at home. You know, the, the, the change in the way that we all think about work is, is dramatic, I think. You know, obviously we kind of know some of the reasons why, but I think it's, it's evolutionary anyway. Um, but what's kind of common in all of this is regardless of where I want to work, for me, the, the end user, I want to be as effective, regardless of if I'm sat with my coffee, I'm sat on a train, it really shouldn't matter to me. So really the DocSnap app is all about removing any friction, any risk, any delays in processes that start from a remote location. So I could be you know, going out and reaching uh, to meet with end customers, or I could be trying to send information to important internal business processes. But regardless, really through the direct integration between the app itself, but also connecting to our enterprise intelligent process automation platform, DocProStar, we're really managing that direct connection between the user and the processing landscape. Tell me a little bit more about how that works. Uh, this is more than just a scanner that scans documents. Uh, does it integrate with my other systems back home? And how would I use it, say, if I'm at a customer site or, or on a train, as you mentioned? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the, the kind of connection is, is, is really there with, with DocProStar, which is our, our backend processing platform. And from there, the journeys are really endless. So it's really about making that initial connection. And as you say, there's essentially nothing particularly new about a mobile app that kind of scans documents on a mobile phone. You know, we, we probably actually in our daily life use them all the time. You know, if we're capturing a, a picture and instead of putting in our own file records, we maybe store them in the cloud nowadays, wherever we want to be. But as you point out, most of them, they don't offer that direct connection to the process itself. And from a personal point of view, the process is simply archiving. But from a business point of view, I want to have automation. I want to have control and I want to have compliance. And if we don't put that in place on the mobile app itself, we're reliant on the users. And the users must remember to send the, the, the documents that they scanned to the right email at the right time. And they must delete the documents because, of course, now we know all of the, the regulatory requirements about handling data. And all of that really requires lots of thought by the end user that actually they, they shouldn't really need to do. And DocProSnap addresses that really with a direct connection to the process in a landscape. And that means that we can ensure an end to end process audit. So from the very beginning, all the way through into the business process itself, we know exactly how that document has been handled, how it's controlled, how it's secured, and how the information that's contained within there is managed as well. And of course, the important thing is we ensure we get the correct business outcome. And really, the, the alternative to using an app like DocSnap is the, 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 the kind of IT department start to think about building their own app building their own mobile apps. But of course, that all takes time. And really for us, the real secret source and, and key differentiator of 
the DocSnap app is that the app's totally dynamic. So you download it once from the app store, but the way it behaves, the way it looks, the way it feels is all configured directly inside the Doc Pro Star environment and it's pushed to the mobile app. So if I log in and I'm connected to customer A, then the, the look and feel of the app and the input points that I'm connected to are all dynamically associated to me. If Jennifer logs on working for a different organization, it's exactly the same app, but it looks completely different. The processes that are connected are totally different. And it means that we're able to push this out and really manage a very wide user community very easily uh, for uh, the IT department and for the business itself. Now, Jennifer, what applications would we use this for uh, and how does it really power the idea of connecting people with process? Okay, so whether it's an insurance adjuster submitting a portion of a case file um, at the scene of an incident or a customer submitting a loan application, DocSnap seamlessly submits documents into the business process. So for example, fields are normalized, pages are counted, and a confirmation is instantly sent to the user. So from that point, the data continues through the business process so that there's no need for your team or your customers to return to their office or their laptop. So you're still connected to our best of breed classification and extraction technology, no matter where you are. So where is this app available? I, it, it's, it's an app I can download. Is there a cost for it? Tell me how that works. Yeah, it's free and it's available in both the Android and the Apple app stores. We are here yes. with... Oh, go ahead, please go ahead. Neil. Sorry, Kevin, I was just going to say, just to add to Jennifer's answer, I think when you download the app, it's already pre-configured to connect to one of our cloud demo environments. So there's some sample demo processes available, but the real kind of magic happens when you connect DocSnap with the Doc Pro Star environment. And that's something obviously we're keen to help customers to really see, as Jennifer mentioned, those couple of use cases, how we can really empower the remote workers to really take part effectively from the beginning to the end of, of those processes as well. So it's really something, there's a, there's a kind of taster there, but you should talk to us as well and understand the context of the app for you, the end customer. Okay, we are speaking with Walk, uh, Neil Walker, head of product at TCG Process and Jennifer Brady, sales and marketing manager at TCG Process, talking about DocSnap from TCG and connecting people with business processes and increasing productivity, innovation, and transformation, really. Now, Neil, how does DocSnap help the IT department as well as business users increase their productivity? Yeah, I guess, I mean, from, a, from an IT perspective, um, the fact that it's, it's really one app that, that has this kind of dynamic configuration capability means that IT departments aren't continually trying to roll out new app versions, new updates, trying to connect to disparate user communities who are probably using all different kinds of devices. So we're really taking care of that piece and it, it's really targeted uh, more at the kind of remote worker scenario rather than the end customer scenario. Because in reality, you know, if we were working with a bank or an insurance company and they wanted to provide similar functionality to, to their end customers, the likelihood is they're going to embed that in their own mobile app. But there they have much more structured processes and they don't require the kind of dynamic nature of, of, of DocSnap. And for that, for those guys, we actually have a solution as well. So we have an SDK that offers very similar capabilities, uh, but allows us to really embed that directly inside of the customer's app itself. So they can really use the same features, but um, directly inside of their own uh, environment. And then I guess from the business user perspective, we obviously always the area that we try and target the most. And, and there there's kind of all kinds of productivity gains, whether it's the end user of the app who's trying to gain from an improved user experience. So it's really all about removing that friction that we talked about before. We all know the moment we start to put friction into play, processes start to, to go wrong. Um, well, organizationally, the important thing is that content is captured at its source, which means that we can begin to manage that content 
eliminating unnecessary delays, improving the user experience, process efficiency, process control, and process automation all become in play right from that point of capture. Jennifer, can you put this all in perspective for us? Kind of briefly explain the products offered at TCG Process, how DocSnap fits in, and what some of the synergies are? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, our technology offering is much more than intelligent document processing. It uses IDP and mobile capture within the business process rather than just as the first step in a process, which I, um, but in addition, like, like Neil said, in addition to bridging the gap between the IT and business units with modern architecture, they allow, the app allows us to meet people where they are. So, yeah. All right. Where can we go, Jennifer, to learn more and how, how does TCG help with us? Uh, so we would love if people would just check out our website, which is www.tcgprocess.com, along with our LinkedIn company page to stay in the loop um, as we add functionality based on our customers' needs all the time. All right. Great. Now, we are here with Jennifer Brady, Neil Walker from TCG Process. Find them. Find out more at tcgprocess.com. Jennifer and Neil, it's been great speaking with you today. We're almost out of time, but before I let you go, one last question, and I'll leave it open to both of you to answer however you'd like. But if you, to put, to put your, your vision ahead of us for a little bit, what, what should executives and technology professionals, information management pros be thinking about now, strategizing for today in order to be prepared for the world in five years time? Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, five years is always a very long time in our industry. And I think, you know, for me, there's kind of enough for people to think about already at this stage. You know, we've, we've dramatically changed the way that we want to work, the way we interact with our customer community, the way we interact with stakeholders that are involved in business processes of all kinds. And, and in a way, I think a lot of organizations are still really at a point where they're, they're kind of, you know, running to kind of catch up to that point. So they, they, they need to, you know, really take advantage of this capability of consistent processing. I was talking about this earlier on with, with Jennifer and, and with, with Bob also from, from TCG and talking about where we're in this kind of unique multi-generational point in time where everybody wants to work with their uh, providers in a totally different way. You know, I'm comfortable with email. Jennifer is a bit younger than I am. So she likes the chatbots or she likes WhatsApp. And then Bob's obviously a little older than all of us. So he maybe still sends his piece of paper in, although I'm doing Bob a disservice there. But, you know, the reality is what's consistent is we all expect exactly the same experience of, of working with that customer, with that provider, sorry. And if we don't put the right kind of technologies in place to support that, we can never achieve that. And in the end, we're kind of letting somebody down. And it's important really for me that people are on this digital transformation journey. And once they're on the journey, the five-year plan will, will start to fall into place. But without putting the kind of right, right kind of foundations down today, the five-year plan is probably irrelevant, I would say. Yeah. Well, the mobile aspect of what you're doing with DocSnap, I think is a great step because we're all interacting with the world with uh, mobile technology. So this is a huge uh, bridge bridge between those, those two worlds, sort of the mobile reality and the uh, enterprise automation platform, if you will. Jennifer, where are we headed in the next five years? Well, we are headed wherever our customers are. That's why we are we're uh, expanding our global footprint all the time. and. Uh, um, yeah, right. with the I think, I think the, standards, it's super. Yeah, I think it's an interesting point. It, it, the, the answer Jennifer mentioned is something we talk about a lot, and it's meeting customers where they are. You know, mm -hmm. it's a slightly different context, but we, we, we use it particularly for this kind of doc snap typing requirement where we know that if we want to be successful as a, as a provider, we've got to be able to at least keep up and hopefully differentiate from the competition. And one of the biggest blockers in that is any friction that you put in the way for the end customer and other stakeholders. And I think 
you know, our internal stakeholders are becoming, you know, also an important factor and we shouldn't, we shouldn't leave them behind really, you know, sometimes we focus solely on the customer, but the internal guys are also driving the outcome for those end customers as well. So we should put the same kind of tools in their hands that are being made available to the end customers as well. All right. Very good. Check out DocSnap from TCG Process. It sounds pretty cool. So thank you very much to our guest today, Neil Walker, head of product, Jennifer Brady, sales and marketing manager at TCG Process. Jennifer and Neil, thank you so much for being our guest today on AIM on Air. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, it was great. Enjoyed the chat. Thank <laughs> you.